Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. So I'm gonna do one of my favorite videos and it's a haul video. I have a nice big elf haul for you today. Um, recently, Elf had a 50% off site-wide sale, and I really wanted to try out some new products, so I thought that would be the perfect opportunity to try some new things out. Okay, so I got a ton of stuff, and I'm not going to go and do a full review of each product because we would be here forever. So I'm just going to show you what I got, and if there's something I see that I want to talk about, um, I'll kind of elaborate a little bit more than my the other products and if there's anything that you see um, in the duration of this video that you want a full review on let me know in the comment section below and I will definitely do that for you so let's start with the first product I won't say that this is a very fun product just because I just need to restock my collection but um, I purchased some of their lip gloss wands and I um, had some of these from Sally's Beauty. They actually sell them and I was running low so Elf had them. I thought I would get them. But these are great when doing makeup on other people because you can just dip them right into the um, lip gloss and apply it and then throw it away. So I purchased those and I think they were $3 for a pack of 12 the next thing I purchased was their, this is a new blush brush that they have, and this is the Studio line. So it's a tapered blush brush, and this is their um, $1 blush brush. I think this is from the Professional line, and then this is the, yeah, Studio. Um, so I wanted to try it. This looks more like a, um, it's more contoured and angle. It seems like it would be better for bronzer contouring, but I wanted to try this out. So I got that. And this was, well, this was $3, but with it being 50% off, it's a dollar. The next thing I bought was the 32 piece eyeshadow palette in natural. And I should have opened all of these for you guys. Packaging on these things is so difficult to open. All right, so it's just a neutral eye palette. And it just has some really pretty bronzes, creams, um, blacks, just neutral shadows. Never hurts to uh, have neutral shadows in your makeup collection. I'm just swatching a couple so we can see the quality. Pretty decent quality. And again, this was this was six dollars and I got it for three. Okay, I have been really wanting to try the next two products. And every time I go to this site, they're always sold out in the colors that I want. So I was really excited that they had them and I could get them for 50% off. But the first one is the HD Liquid Blush in Superstar. Superstar is a pink, like a mauve pink color. And that is the packaging. I've heard I was reading the reviews that these are extremely pigmented. So I have a dot that size. And that's the blush. Wow, that is crazy. Um, there's a little bit better picture of the color. This is a really pretty, like, I don't know if I'll call it a dusty rose, maybe a berry rose color. Um, yeah, so that, I wanted to try it. Right, the next thing is another, this is their cream blush in Heartbreaker. And I love the packaging on these things. They kind of feel just really high-end. They've got the little acrylic um, packaging, and this is the blush. Look how pretty that is. And this is, um, huh, it's spongy feeling. Like it feels, it feels like a sponge. 
the simple things that make me happy. Kind of reminds me of Play-Doh. So that is the color right here. It's a really nice, just hot pink cheek color. I'm going to find some area on my hand to swatch it for you. So there it is. There we go. I really like that a lot. Just can stipple it on your cheeks and um, you get a really nice, like, pinky glow to your skin. Okay, so the next thing I purchased was the e.l.f. Studio Makeup Mist and Set Spray. I have heard from several different YouTubers, bloggers, etc., that this is very similar to Urban Decay's, I think, D-Slick. And I really wanted to try it. D-Slick is a little bit on the pricier side. This was $3. So, let's try it right on camera. It smells good. It smells very, like, cucumbery. That's a word, cucumbery. But, um, yeah, so it's a really nice setting spray. It helps trying to dry it off. It helps keep your makeup just refreshed. You know, if your makeup is starting to just kind of slide off your face during the middle of the day, just spray a little bit of this on and it's supposed to just kind of perk you back up. Just looking in my mirror. Hmm. I also got this new Acne Fighting Foundation by e.l.f. I have never, actually, I take that back. I almost said I've never purchased a foundation from e.l.f., but I have, and I didn't like it. It's actually right here to go in the trash. It's the e.l.f. Flawless Finish. Packaging is beautiful. It's glass. It's very high-end, but I just, I didn't like it. So, I thought I would give this a try. This is the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation. Wait, let me start over. That's the e.l.f. Acne Fighting. Did I say that? Anyways, um, this has got salicylic acid, witch hazel, camphor, tea tree, and aloe. Um, it has 0.5% salicylic acid. shades of like foundation stuff just seem to be um, darker than like like the liquid foundation I'm wearing right now is buff, and it was perfectly fine. I don't know if you're going to be able to see yet. That's it right there. So it's not too far off my skin tone. Um, but I'd be, I'm going to be interested to try this and see if it works, see what kind of coverage it provides. I may do a review on this. So if this is something you're interested in seeing, leave me a comment below. Um, I think this was $3 as well. Well, $1.50 because it was on clearance. Okay. Only two more things. The last two things I purchased were the mineral lipsticks. I love these things. I have a ton of shades. And these are shades obviously I don't have. This is Barely Bitten. It's a really nice, like, brick red color. At least it looks brick red in the um, packaging. It's really pretty, though. That's barely bitten. And then the next one is Royal Red. I'm forever on the hunt for like the perfect red for me. Some reds are just way, way too like blue reds. And then, I don't know, they're just too red for me. Oh, this is a really pretty color. It's not red, but it's um, berry. They look very similar, actually, but um, this is barely, or no, this is Royal Red, and that, these two colors are going to be gorgeous in the fall. So those um, are the next two that I purchased, and I, I really love these lipsticks. Um, they're $3. They are very moisturizing on your lips. They don't, like, bleed or make your skin or your lips chapped, um, and they're only $3, and they have a great color quality to them. Um, so re I really like them, and I like the packaging too. It's just a nice matte black tube. Um, just feels kind of sleek and sophisticated. So that is my Elf makeup haul. Um, 
I love when they have their 50% off sales because I can try some new products without spending a lot of money. So if you purchased some e.l.f. Um, makeup with that sale that was going on, leave me a comment in the section below and tell me what you purchased. Or just leave me a comment and tell me what your favorite e.l.f. product is. It might give me some ideas to go try new things. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!